A star woman is speaking out after someone scrawled a racial slur on her front door. Yeah, police are now investigating who could have done this, but the woman says she doesn't feel safe. This is what Asayla Williams and her boyfriend came home to on Monday morning. The N-word scribed in orange markers stretched across their door. Still, police investigated it as criminal mischief and ethnic intimidation. Williams says the issue started not long after they moved into Hidden Lake Apartments last May. She alleges neighbors would call 911 to complain about dogs barking, and not only that, Williams says neighbors would falsely claim domestic violence was going on inside their apartment. Police reports show four visits to the home, no arrests in either one. Then on Saturday, Williams says a neighbor used the racial epithet while complaining about noise that was actually coming from a different unit. Williams and her boyfriend then left for the weekend, and the epithet welcomed them home. All of the other tenants were gone to work, which means they all walked past it and they saw it and no one felt the need to report it or felt uncomfortable about that. Everyone felt like that's how we should be labeled. That's who we were. That's who we are. And that should be on their door. And everyone should see that because that's who lives there. You can definitely see the end for sure. And then the rest was like it was across the oh, entire yeah. front. She couldn't believe her eyes. Honestly, I burst out in tears. I won't even lie. Asayla tells me she wants I'm this investigated a as a hate crime. I think everyone is kind of viewing it here as like vandalism, but in actuality, it really is a hate crime. Because she tells me she no longer feels safe, not when she's inside her apartment, not when she gets to her front door. Fear. I felt fear when I saw it because I didn't know that that was still even happening. And I think even I was kind of ignorant to that type of like callousness. The apartment complex covered up the slur with paint, but the person who put it here is still on the loose and Asayla wants more protections in place. The managers at Hidden Lake tell me they are taking the situation seriously. We just don't ever want somebody to have to walk up to their door, have to be subject to anything, you know, so that's where we take a zero tolerance stand on everything. I don't understand why no one can feel our pain in this. Like, it's so much deeper than just a door. It's like, it's like, it's almost saying to us, like, no matter how hard you work, no matter what you do, you'll never be valuable enough to live where we live or do what we do or be where we are. And that's hard for me to accept. Williams claims management has failed to act on any of the incidents, often turning a blind eye. The leasing office was empty today as staff was attending a corporate event. Williams says not only does she and her boyfriend want management to acknowledge what has happened, they also want out of their lease. I saw the check, nigga. Huh?